Okay, I want to talk about brushes and knives and mediums and a bunch of other things. So, first off, let's just jump into um, brushes. There's several different kinds of brushes, and let's talk about the most common first, which is a bristle brush, and that is made out of hog hair, and that's what this is. It's a bristle brush. Wonderful tool. This particular brand is a silver brush is the company, Grand Prix is the model number, and it is a size 10. Model number 1003 if you want to match it. But I don't think there's really any that any magic in any particular type of brushes other than finding something that you'd like. However, I do strongly believe that when you are first starting out in painting, you're kind of freaked out by everything. So if you have some guidance, like go buy these kinds of brushes because then you know that they're okay. That's I can understand the logic in that too. Although, trust me when I say that it really doesn't matter in terms of what brushes you use because you will learn how to use them. It's just that um, these are the ones I use. So it might make your decision making easier. This is a size 10. This one here is a size 6. This one here is a size... I think it's worn off. It's a 4, I think. Those are the sizes I use primarily. And then sometimes I'll use littler ones too. And this one is a size... This is an old... Looks like an old 2. Size 2. And those will pretty much do you as far as bristle brushes are concerned you might want to um, get a wider range if you wanted to or you could get some flats these are filbert shaped which means they're kind of a combination between a flat which is a brush that looks like this right a flat across the top as opposed to round across the top it's a cross between this and then a round brush which is what like the old masters used to use where it was just a round and a bunch of bristles coming straight out of the brush. I don't know if I have any rounds. I don't. That's how uncommon they are. I don't even own any anymore. So the you can get some flats. The downside to a flat is it leaves a sharp edge where, where you start the brush stroke. Which is no big deal because you're not normally going to want to modify those edges anyway. You've got when you do a painting and you lay make a brush stroke, you've got four edges to deal with. One where it begins, one where it ends, and the two sides. And most likely, at least two or three or even four of those edges will need to be modified either with the next brush stroke or subsequent brush strokes. So I don't want to think there's too much magic in that. And a lot of people that use flats, eventually as they get worn and worn and worn down, they become more filbert shaped anyway. So that's bristle brushes. And that's like your main brush that you'd use most of the time, okay?